guys this is leftover remains and on today's tutorial I will be working 95 percent on the main menu now as you can see the sampler already has a little game logo um, how to get that you just go to settings select image I took the um, main menu and I shrunk it down half size so it seemed to fit so I just kept it now we're gonna be starting with a couple actors first we're gonna be having the play button then we're going to have the options blah, button. And lastly, I'm going to be doing a mouse. Well, let's just call it mouse cursor. There we go. And let's just add in the mouse cursor right now. All right. Now, we're going to want to do a couple things. First, we're going to want to open up um, always and we're going to choose mouse and we're going to choose x of and x of and set that then we're going to go to actor set for the position we're going to choose set x to x of that and choose the y to x of mouse for self add that in we're also going to want to anchor it to screen and if you don't if you move the mouse cursor off the screen the actor will just touch the boundaries and die and you don't want that you always want the actor to be seen I'm gonna go into the main menu real quick and I'm going to go into events oops a doopsie let's close that and well just go into create and when created go into actor or you can click on game Flash. Actually, no. What am I doing? Well, what am I doing? Okay, let's just forget about that. Create. There we go. Create actor. Choose actor type. We'll choose the mouse cursor, and we'll just have it as X of mouse and Y of mouse. Actually, let's just go into here and there we go. And there we go. Boy, my hand placement is off today. <laughs> now let's test it. Hmm, fascinating things. Oh, duh. That's also because we have not. Uh, da, 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 da. What have I forgotten to do? Oh, that's right. I have to hide. Not who I'd. I need to hide the mouse cursor. There we go. Now we'll go back into there. Turn that back on. Set scene. Fascinating. What am I forgetting? Oh, that's right. Boy, I'm, I just messed up. All right, sorry about that. So we don't actually want to do the X of mouse, Y of mouse. What we want to do is, let's say we'll set it to some random number. As far as I'm concerned, we could set it to half the screen size right now. So we'll just set it to, um, 320, oops, 320 by 240. There we go. Can't believe I made that big mistake. Now when we test the scene, if we're out here in the boundary area and we bring it in, we'll have the mouse. If we close it down, if we open it up again, if we're in the middle, it'll open it and it'll start it where the mouse is. So you can start it, you can bring it back and bring it over here and it'll always find where the mouse is and it'll always point itself directly on the mouse and we hid the mouse so you won't be able to see the little icon anymore unless something happens anyway let's close this out and keep that open alright now we're gonna go to the options button we're gonna make a new one we'll call it unpressed up why I'm doing this is because I'm gonna make a script and it will check for the animations and if the mouse is over so we'll click add you don't need to worry about collisions right now because it's the main menu so nothing should be interfering with it uh... let's click cannot move just in case something might occur we don't want anything to touch it and it'll fly off the screen let's also add in the unpressed play button here All right, save it now let's just go into the main menu real quick add in the two actors as they are put 
that right there. Put this right there. It's good. Save it. Now, the reason I want to add a script is so that as the mouse goes over it, see what I mean? See, it's just moving it all over. You don't want that. You don't. That's just bad programming. So let's close that out. We'll go back into the play button. Click collisions. Ah, physics cannot move. Save it. Now, and actually, let's go in here and click sensor. That way, it'll allow the mouse to detect it, but it won't respond. Just as a double precaution, I feel. Save it. And let's test. Okay, that looks nice. But at the same time, yeah, the mouse is over the button, but for certain menu items, you want to make sure that the player knows that the mouse is completely over. So what we'll do is we will make a new one. We'll just duplicate this by clicking this button right there. We'll call it pressed. I already had some buttons pre-made, so I'll just click the pressed button. Close that. Options. Do the same thing. And then title it Rust. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a small script. Well, not write, more like block it in. And I'll call it the mouse over. Let's call it the universal script. That way, if you create any newer buttons, you can just add it into the behaviors. Now we're going to go into when updated. Now, when mouse is, oh, ah, when mouse is over, there we go. If we're going to change the animation. To pressed. Otherwise, copy it, paste. It is unpressed. Now, when we go back into the scene, try it out. It's not working yet. Why? Because we haven't added it to the actors. So, you always got to make sure that you remember to add in the scripts that you make or else they won't work. So let's bring it in, try it again. There you go. Now, one more thing before I go, just because, I'll add these to go nowhere, but we'll set it up for the next time. So right now I'm gonna make a options menu scene, and I will make a, let's, for right now, we'll call it scene one, because we don't know where this is going yet. So we'll call it scene one. We can call it anything, like tall tree scene or blue ocean. Who cares? So now that we have those, we can save it. We can close these two out now. And then we'll go into the play button. And we'll go into always when mouse. When mouse is pressed on, if mouse pressed on, we'll go to scene. We will put this in there. We'll add a little um, slowness to it, or a little fade, why not? There we go. And we will put scene one in there. And we will copy bring it into this one, do the same thing, paste, save it. Now, actually, let's open those two back up. And what I'm going to do is, just so we can see, um, if the scene one is open, we will see the play button. And if the options is open, we will see the options. All right. And let's go back to the main menu. Let's try it. All right. And as for the options,
And let's double check, because sometimes when it's fading, you can still click on a button. Hmm. Looks good, looks good. Let's double check. There you go, I knew it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change, we're gonna add an attribute. So let's go back into the play button scripts. And we're gonna have an attribute, a game attribute, and we're gonna call it the, um, uh, let's say button was pressed. I'm gonna click yes or no. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to check to make sure that the button was pressed or it's not pressed and if it's able to be pressed. Actually, let's just scratch that, go back into settings, go into attributes, remove that. And let's just say, can the button be pressed? Yes or no? That way it'll be a little easier. Can the button, and let's refix it up. Click Control R to refresh the page. All right, can the button be pressed? If the button can be pressed is equal to true, and the mouse was pressed on, then it'll follow out the script. But, well actually let's add in the next one. Can it be pressed? false and then we'll set a time to do after let's say one because that's how long the fading is anyway do after one second can the button be pressed set it to oops condition set it to true all right now we're going to copy all of this go into the options paste. Let's just drag some of this in there. Throw that out. We're going to do the same thing. Same thing. I know I could have just put it up and just fix it around a bit, but eh. Alright. So now that that's set, when it can be true, when it can be true, let's change it to attributes. Initial value is true. Now let's double check to make sure everything works correctly. And there we go. And as for this one, what the dickens? That's not right. All right, let's take a quick gander over here. Scene one. Oh, um, did I do something wrong? Oh, I did. Wow, go me. Okay, options, choose scene, options menu. Well, anyway, that'll set up the thing as well. That way, for future reference, that way your player can't just click a bunch of items at once and have it going crazy and stuff. Like if you're having a health pack and you want there to be like a weird sound after you click it, it'll give it an initial time to reset by giving it five seconds or two seconds or however long you want before the player can click the button again. Now we will just try that one more time without the stupidity. And all right. Oop. Close that. And we will try it with the options. And there you go. No matter what they do, as long as that is going, it will tell them to say, okay, so you pressed it, but it can't be, it's false right now, so until it becomes true again, you can't press that button. That's why I have the second, so it'll initially set it to false, then after a second that the script was in action, it'll give it the true back so you can click another button when you return to the main menu, which I will do in another video, a return to main menu button. Anyway, thanks for watching.